that buy into it, there's no hope for you. Here is an out and out lie on Fox where they had breaking news that they got the secret message that only Fox could get. Oh, you're right. <laughs> and, and it's saying that that he had it's this proof that Bergdog had had uh, converted to Islam and has oh, become please. a jihadist. This is a Listen. Fox News alert. Fox News Chief Washington Correspondent James Rosen has learned Army Sergeant Bo Bergdahl converted to Islam during his captivity with the Taliban and even considered himself a, quote, warrior for Islam, according to secret documents. Rosen will have secret. much more on special report in the next <laughs> hour. But let's discuss these shocking new developments shocking. right here on The Five. Eric, these documents show that he converted to Islam. He considered himself a mujah uh, mujahideed. He also said that he was kept in a cage while he was part of this, this camp run by the Haikani Network, does this significantly change the game because it confirms what his fellow soldiers have been saying that the White House has been trying to dispute for days? So, so here's what came out today since the last time we were here. New York Times reported that Bergdahl on two separate occasions walked off from the base that he was at, one time in California, one time in Afghanistan, prior to the time that he allegedly walked off and was captured or whatever happened with the, with the Taliban. Uh, as you point out, he was he converted to Islam. He did okay. We got to stop the lies right there because they're bold-faced lies. There's no evidence of this. Their secret document has never been shown. Nobody's ever confirmed this. But they dare to get on national uh, media and declare bold-faced lies about a man. He could sue them for slander. Yep. As far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I want actual proof. I want to see it. If there's a doc, well, it's a secret document. Oh, yeah, shut up with the secret thing. If it were so secret, you wouldn't be talking about it. It's written in invisible ink, and you have to hold it up to the mirror <laughs> exactly. to read it. Exactly. Yeah. You, you, you can only read it with a black light. <laughs> Seriously, th this is what Fox News is denigrated. It's not Fox News. It should just be called Fox Imagination, because that's all it is. It's their imagination running amok. There's no facts, there's no proof no. substantiating anything until I see a written document that says, yes, this guy converted to Islam, then and only then will I even consider believing it. The fact is, he did write some things where he criticized the war. Now, does that mean you criticize your country and you're anti-American? No. It no. means the guy signed up, had ideals, and when he went over there and saw reality... He became discontent with what they were doing and disillusioned. Is that wrong? That's human. Oh, that is very human. And being able to speak out is your First Amendment right. Yep. And signing up with the military, does that mean you lose all your, your rights, all your constitutional rights, including freedom of speech? According to them, it does. And you become a traitor because you say, hey, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. Maybe this is wrong. This is immoral. I don't have the stomach for this anymore. And could he go up to his uh, commanding officer and say that? Nope. So if he decides to walk away because he cannot do it anymore, does that make him a horrible person? According to them, maybe it, does. it doesn't make him a good soldier. You because don't deserve he. How did that's terrible upraising by his father? That's what Sean's hand he said. He's a terrible, his father's terrible. Because his father loves him? Because you know, his yeah. father would sacrifice anything to get him back? Yeah, really. Most parents would. But they are trying this guy, and we haven't even spoken to him. Even well, the parents haven't spoken to him. Country They're now, trying Jeff. him in the media when yeah, we don't know Jeff, any of the facts. You know how it is in this country. You're guilty until proven innocent, and even then you're guilty. 